Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna be teaching you how you can use your camcorder, um, or this works with um, most uh, cameras or, or camcorders or um, you know video cameras basically have an HDMI out um, output um, and that uh, can you know shoot and you know produce um, video on a second screen without all the uh, the HUD elements um, that pop up like you know uh, a voice meter a volume thing the the menu screens you know all that stuff and I'll show you what I mean later on so this is something that is fairly easy to do but you do need a couple of things that of course cost a little bit of money um, there are some things that are optional which I actually don't have which are newer and a lot better so there's a lot of better ways to do this but this is a way that is um, you know, I guess cheaper. If you have any questions or if I missed to, if I miss anything or you guys are confused by anything, leave them in the comments below. Or if you really want me to have like a one-on-one -on -one discussion with you, join my Discord server and uh, go on the support channel. I'm kind of plugging my Discord server right now, no, but it's, it's really a good way for me to talk to you guys. Anyways, let's actually get to the video. So what you need is of course your, your video camera and you need to actually make sure that you have a couple of things that your video camera uh, on your video camera like a couple features that make sure that this will work well i said before you need to make sure that it has a clean hdmi out uh, signal and what that means is whenever you you know hook up the hdmi uh, cable coming out of your camcorder and into like a tv or something or like a monitor um then you want to make sure that the video that shows or the, the picture that shows up on the the, the external or second tv or monitor doesn't have the the hud elements like you know, well, like this. So see how there, you know, there are a lot of menu, there are a lot of buttons on the screen. My LCD uh, is actually a touch screen, so that's why there's a lot of buttons and menu settings and a bunch of info on the screen on the actual camcorder itself. But you have to make sure that um, it, those things won't show up if you hook it up to, like, as I said before, like in a, a TV using HDMI cable. If it does, then you know, see if there's any settings or look it up to see if your particular camcorder has a clean HDMI um, output. And uh, obviously, a clean HDMI output means that when you do hook it up to a TV, it's just it's just the screen. It's like nothing. There's no buttons. There's no settings. And it's just the video itself. So if you have that, you're good. That's one step already done. Another thing you need on your camcorder is obviously, of course, an HDMI out, uh, HDMI out, which I think most already do. So if you have those two things on your camcorder or camera you should be good for this. Now, the most important thing is, obviously you can't just hook up uh, you know, uh, an HDMI to USB converter and plug it into your computer. It doesn't work that way. So what you need is a capture card device. And uh, what I have is, you know, why it's it's cheaper is I have a really, really old Elgato Game Capture HD. It's not the HD60, it's not the one that it actually plugs into your motherboard on your computer. Um, it's really, really, it's the original Elgato Game Capture HD. I think it was still there when the PS4 and F Plus One weren't even out yet. So it was still, it was like the original Elgato. And it was like the big deal every, uh, way back in like 2013 or something. So if you guys remember that, or if you, you even have one, then you're good. Like for me, I had one because I had one way back in the day when I wanted to record my PS3. Um, so that's why for me it was it was free because I already had one because it's really old. But obviously if you don't have any capture card, it is gonna cost you. But thankfully since it is really old, I'm pretty sure you can find one on eBay for really, really cheap. Um, so yeah, look up uh, the Elgato Game Capture HD. So the optional one is Elgato actually came out with a new product that is specifically meant for exactly what I'm teaching you. It, it, it is a really, really small, it's, it's about the size of like a flash drive. It's really small. And and you hook up, it, it's really, all that it has is an HDMI in and a USB. All this, it really technically is a, a HDMI to USB converter, but it has all the necessary, you know, hardware to actually convert the picture and put it, and you can use it on your Elgato and all your OBS programs on your computer. But that is, you know, I think it's like plus $100. It's, it's very new, but, but it actually works really well. Uh, you do need the same specifications on your camcorder. You know, like I said before, you need, you need a, a clean HDMI out um, on your camera, but it's a lot easier to use than a, than a, a capture card because capture cards are meant to record like consoles and other computers, not really meant to get the video from a, a, a camera. Um, but this, I found a way where I, I can do it so it, it it works fairly well. So yeah, obviously uh, the past year or so, this is the method that I'm teaching in this video. This is the method I've been using to film this video, to film all my vlogs. And uh, it's, it's there's some small drawbacks. Um, there's actually a, a kind of a one big one, which I'll get to later on. Um, but 
all in all, if you like the quality that you're seeing right now, uh, obviously it depends on your camera, but really all this story does is simulate um, uh, basically Elgato thinks your camera is like a PS3 or something. So it gets the video from your, your camera, puts it up to the Elgato game capture software on your computer. You need an HDMI uh, cord cable, of course. Uh, there's actually one thing that I needed. My HDMI out port on my camcorder is a, a mini HDMI. So I don't have a mini HDMI to normal size HDMI cable lying around. So I had to buy a um, male mini HDMI to female normal HDMI adapter, which, you know, those things range from wherever you buy them. You can get them for really cheap or like way too much. Just try to find a, ch a cheap one. Um, or if you, if you obviously, if your camera has an HDMI full size out port on it, then that's great. You just need a normal HDMI cable. And I'm pretty sure that's all you need. Obviously you need the capture card itself. So it, it if this works with the, the very, very old and original Elgato Game Capture HD, this will work with every other iteration of the, of the game capture and, uh, and every new version um, that came out ever since it came out. By the way, guys, this would be a really long video if you already didn't notice because I'm going to go really in depth and I'm going to explain as much as I can so you don't have to ask any questions in the comments, hopefully. So sorry about that already. I've already admitted it. Going to be a long video, so stay tuned if you really want to know how to do this. All right, guys, so now I'm sorry for that weird pattern on the camera. I can't really help that, but or on the monitor. So I'm going to show you, you know, what how you set it up. So I apologize for my really, really messy room and setup. Um, I really don't show it that much. I, I, sh I don't show this side what I see. So that that's why I it's I don't really clean it up. I know the cable manager could be a lot better, but I'm actually gonna move soon, so that's why I don't really care about it. So it's not really an excuse, but again, I apologize for that. This is how I have it set up. So there are a few things you may need that are optional, but could help you. Obviously, you kind of want like a, a way to prop up your camera. I have a tr uh, sort of medium. It's a full size tripod, but I shrunk it and I made it fit on my desk. It barely. It's barely fitting. Actually, look, it's like hanging off right there. Oh my god, actually, that's gonna fall. Actually, no, it's fine. It's like hanging on like half a centimeter, so that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really dusty, really messy. I'm sorry, I don't really care about how my desk looks. I'm not one of those type of people. If you are, I apologize. Just try to get through this. So, um, here's how we have it set up. So, I have the camera. Uh, the one thing that you do need is obviously your camera needs to be on, and it's like it's gonna be con constantly on. Like w the great thing about a webcam, they're constantly being powered by the USB on your computer. If you have a DSLR or, or camcorder, you know you ha they're on battery. So if you're we're gonna record a long vlog, uh, you need a way to charge it. So I have my camera. So this is my charging cord. I have it. I have a surgeon protector down there. So my camcorder is basically just charging all 24/7, which maybe bad, but really I don't. It's not really that gonna affect it that much. It might affect the longevity of the battery. It, it will, but you know, not by too much. And I can, I always unplug it when I'm not using it. So that's fine. Uh, but when, obviously when I have it on, I keep it plugged in so it doesn't lose power. Um, camcorder needs to be on. You can, if you have like a, I don't know what you call this, a screen to see yourself. That's great too. Some DSLRs don't. Uh, so, but then you'd have to, so, but you, you could use the software. That's fine. So I also have a HDMI, HDMI, I can't speak today, HDMI out port right here. So as you, uh, as, as you can see, I have, this is the adapter I was talking about. Um, this is a, this one right here that I'm pulling on. This one is a normal HDMI cable, you know, standard. It comes with pretty much every TV, every monitor that you buy, but this is the adapter right here. I had to buy one because obviously my camcorder is kind of a smaller one. So the HDMI port, uh, as you can see, it's an HDMI. The HDMI out port is was a, was a mini HDMI, so I had to buy an adapter. So that's basically all I need. So I will show you exactly where you need to plug in your Elgato, and this will be the same for most capture cards. They probably all have uh, ports or I/O similar, and if it doesn't, that means it's very, very old, and you probably can't even do this. So here I have my Elgato. So as you can see, this is the very first Elgato, or I don't know if it's the first, but it's the original one that got super popular, the Elgato Came Capture HD. So uh, what you need is, you know the HDMI out that's coming out from a camcorder? This is the one that's coming out from my camcorder. You need to put this into the in, HDMI in, on your Elgato. This is one end of the HDMI cable. It's connected to the HDMI in on the Elgato. And the other end is this one that's connected to the camcorder. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And then on the out ports on the IO side, on the out IO side of the game catcher, 
Uh, you don't need an HDMI out because obviously, you know, that only connects like monitors and TVs and you don't really want to connect it to that. You just want it to go to your computer. So you just put, uh, you just connect it to USB out and obviously this USB cord comes with the Elgato. Uh, it's just a standard micro USB cable. So uh, hook up the micro USB cable, one end to the USB out and the other end obviously goes into your computer. I have it hooked up in this mess of cables. I'm not even gonna show that, that's way too bad. So yeah, and that's basically all the setup is. Uh, just two cords, you just need HDMI cord, the USB cable that comes with it and pretty much everyone has an HDMI cable. The only things you really need to buy to make this work is the card itself if you don't have one. Uh, you can buy the cam link, but that's obviously a hundred plus dollars. And that's pretty much it. I'm assuming you already have a camera if you're watching this. And uh, again, you can buy a tripod too, but I'm also, you might have that too. You know, you might even have those small tripods that can, um, you know, prop up on like a box or something if you really want to. So once everything is set up and plugged in, turn on your camcorder, uh, make sure, uh, you know, everything is plugged in and working. There's no really way on, at least on my end to tell if the HDMI signal is coming out. Uh, so the moment of truth is just uh, open up uh, the game capture Elgato software. You do need Elgato software because there are some drawbacks that I will talk about in just a bit. But to finish off the video, let's go to back to uh, my computer and let's actually screen capture the final steps. All right, guys. So if you notice my computer slowing down a little bit, I apologize greatly for that. It's because I'm obviously recording with Elgato and with OBS right now, but so hopefully it doesn't uh, slow down too much. So uh, now I'm actually recording. You can see, okay, I'm talking and it's it's delayed. And that's the main drawback that I'm uh, talking about. So I'm just gonna minimize, I'm just gonna actually stop this. So bye guys in the video cam. God, yeah, that was really bad. So that is the main drawback. Uh, the Elgato Game Capture HD, the, the biggest thing with that and what uh, the software does has to do is account for that like I think it's like a five second delay or something is a really really bad delay of what happens on the on the ps4 or what happens in your camera and what you know actually gets uh, output to the, your computer into your Elgato software uh, so yeah I, oh it's still happening I'm sorry <laughs> I'm gonna minimize that so it's not freaking you out so that's the biggest drawback so the bad thing about this that it might be big for some people but might be big for a lot of streamers is you cannot use this as an in-game overlay face cam, which obviously is because of that delay. And it's really, really tricky and hard to fix it. Obviously, if you're if you're making videos on YouTube and you're editing them, then you can fix that. Uh, if you just record your voice with Audacity, sync it up, and then do a clap and like do something in the game so that you can sync up all the audio, that's great. But if you're live streaming, there's virtually no way to fix that delay unless, and also it's because um, OBS uses a lot of resources and stuff. And I mean, Elgato does not OBS. So especially on the old, on the old version on the Elgato game capture software. So the final step is obviously to download the Elgato game capture software and go, when you go to, I have to go back. I'm sorry. When you go to set it up, um, you want to go to show device settings, try to copy my settings, um, input device, make sure it's on other. So it's not any of these, so you wanna make sure it's on other. Video input, obviously has to be HDMI. Audio input, HDMI audio. So obviously we have it connected through HDMI, so make sure to take that. Actually, let me cover this up <laughs> so I don't uh, delay again. So yeah, make sure to take HDMI. I'm pretty sure uh, this was standard and default. Um, your profile, my camera, I'm pretty sure you can only do 720, or at least I'm only recording 720. And I just think it's 720 is fine. You can do 1080 if your camera and this allows it. My camera does not allow 60 FPS, so I'm gonna uncheck that. And uh, quality, I just put it um, all, almost max. Uh, cropping none, I'm not gonna convert any of that uh, stuff because 720p is pretty good. Picture, I'm pretty sure I left that. Audio, I left that. I'm pretty sure this is just for your TV. Obviously, this is TV compatibility, so this doesn't actually apply. You can see it's working. Obviously, it's delayed, but when you click record, it will fix all that up in software for you. So to actually, you know, start recording, um, I'm pretty sure you you already know how to use an Elgato software, but if you're completely new to it, I really recommend doing, you know, watching a beginner's guide on how to actually record with game capture. So to start recording, you make sure it's all working and find all the settings are good. Um, you can turn on a commentary if you want, but I think a better way is to just like have Audacity open because some like it glitches out sometimes where if you click record, it cuts out uh, a little bit of the first start. So you don't want to click record and start talking right away because it's going to cut out a couple seconds in the start. And it'll also cut out 
a couple seconds on the end. Um, uh, um, and, so, and sorry, it's delayed. I'm sorry about this. It's gonna <laughs> it's gonna happen. So yeah, so make sure you click record. You wait like 10 seconds and start talking, and then wait 10 seconds again after your outro before you click the stop button. Um, and you know you can just keep on. Oh, that's my dog in the background. <laughs> So uh, you can keep the commentary on. Exactly, exactly, it's fine to, to keep on because uh, you want to sync up um, it with Audacity. So yeah, just click the record button. I'm not going to. And then once you're done, you want to go to edit, and it will show up here. Uh, the, the most bottom video is the most recent one. Then you just click this pro button. I actually don't know what that says. And it will open up the. It should open up. I don't know why it's not opening up, but it, it's gonna show up in the full that you set. I have it set to just videos. You can export as a mp4 file like as you i think it automatically does that so that was the setting that i i set that is what that button is i'm pretty sure if you go to these settings go to sharing yeah always convert new videos to mp4 file so i have that checked that's why it, it's that's why that icon shows up so i actually do recommend taking this so just check check that always convert new videos to mp4 file so every time you make a video this is the most recent one it uh, will export to MP4 and it's a lot easier to work with. So that's pretty much how it is. And that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I'm sorry this was kind of long. Um, I might, I'll try to shorten it down, but I kind of wanted to make the intro of the video where I talk. Cause like the actual me showing you how to do it go is like halfway through the video. I just wanted to talk for beginners. Most of my tutorials are for, uh, you know, I'm trying to make it so that anyone, even if you, have, if you know nothing about computers or technology, anyone can, can get into it. So that I try to be as in depth as I can. So I, I don't know why I'm I'm looking at the camera, even though it's so delayed, it's really freaky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the outro now. Bye. <laughs> so that was the end of the video. I know it was really long. I'm sorry about that. I, I, I don't know if I missed any process, any steps. So if you have any questions or are confused by anything, uh, please leave it in the comments below and uh, I'll be sure to try to help you out. Uh, or I, if, since I can't really get to the comments, it's kind of hard if I get a lot. Again, I'm kind of plugging and self-promoting here. You know, if you join my my Discord server, that's in the description, and you go to I have a support channel, or you can just text in general. If you at me, um, you can, I can try to help you out and just say, hey, it's I'm coming from your Elgato webcam video, and I'll try to help you out there. So. Again, thank you very much uh, for watching. Hopefully this helps some of you guys who want to, you know, vlog y without having to, you know, use an SD card to transfer files. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys what the advantage of all this is, is, you know, obviously working with a webcam is super easy and convenient because you can, you can vlog on your computer. You don't have to transfer files with USB or an SD card. That's obviously, that's obviously one disadvantage of using like a DSLR vlogging camera. There's no way to transfer the files directly from USB, but there are some new ways where you can do it over the cloud, but this is just a way where you can directly use computer software to record your vlogs, and none of it is really recorded on the camcorder itself. This is It's basically like using a webcam, but using your DSLR as a webcam. I'm pretty sure that's why I have the title of the video as. And obviously this is mainly for if you're just doing a vlog, like what I'm doing right now, you can't really do this in this case with the old Elgato as a, like if you wanna live stream your and you want to have like a mini face cam on the top left or top right, and you want to do it live, especially if you're live streaming. If you you can you can get away with the delay if you're just editing video. But I've already said all that. Hopefully this helped you guys out. And uh, again, have any questions, Discord or comments? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.